than, than residential or, or commercial enterprises. Yeah, that's right. And we have yet to see any reports of any uh, civilian infrastructure or any, anything like that having been hit uh, so far. Um, but again, we are continuing to hear explosions um, really on all sides of where I'm standing. I've heard an explosion to, to the, in the distance to the back, to my left, to my right. Uh, and it, this has been going since the early hours of the morning. And we are waiting for uh, even more clarity from authorities here. All right, your camera staying on. Your shot is staying up. So you let us know uh, as soon as you have any more information. And we'll come right back to you. Stay safe, Aaron uh, McLaughlin in Kiev for us. I want to go to White House Correspondent Mike Memoli in Washington, D.C. Uh, obviously, the president uh, fully informed about what's going on here. What's the latest? Yeah, Ali, we've been getting periodic updates from White House officials throughout the night, and my colleague Peter Alexander just shares uh, a significant development. I think President Biden is actually on the phone right now with Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky, obviously an important consultation at this late hour uh, in Washington, but in the very early hours there in Kyiv to show support for our ally at this very critical moment. Just before we learned of that, the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki uh, tweeting that the president had just convened a secure phone call with his Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, the Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, the Chairman of the